is the second in a series of latte videos. The first one was about two weeks ago when I made a London Fog Latte. That was my new drink obsession and it still is. I make them hot and now lately I've been making them iced. But today is the second installment in that series and this video is for Denise over at Dish With D. She asked me to make a matcha latte, but make it with the whipped matcha. You know, like the big whipped coffee phase that's going around right now? Well, she wanted a whipped matcha latte. So, she's my buddy. So, what Denise wants, Denise gets. So, I'm going to show you how to make a whipped matcha latte. Now, I don't really care for matcha. <laughs> um, so, I'm not gonna be able to tell you what I think of it. So what I did is I made one already, took it down to Denise, Denise tasted it, and she gave it a thumbs up. She said it needed a little bit more matcha flavor to it. Now, m the matcha that I have is in little packets. I don't have like an open container of it. So for me, it's hard to add more. So you might want to add more if you like matcha. If you've never had matcha, the only way I can describe the taste is grass. It tastes like grass. It's definitely an acquired taste. If I'm in the mood for it, I can drink it but I have to be in the mood for it. But Denise absolutely loves it. And now Dunkin' Donuts has a new matcha latte that she is obsessed with. But now Denise will know how to make it at home and save herself some money and a lot of points. So let's get started on the second in this latte series, making the whipped matcha latte. So the ingredients that we need for our whipped matcha latte we need some chickpea juice yes you heard me right chickpea juice this is just the juice that i drained from a can of chickpeas it's otherwise known as aquafaba now you can also use an egg white in this recipe but i know people are funny about raw eggs raw egg whites so i chose to use the aquafaba from the chickpeas You'll be amazed if you've never seen this, how it whips up. We also need some milk of your choice. I'm using cashew milk. You can use almond milk. You can use cow's milk. Whatever it is you choose, you just need to adjust the points. We need the sweetener of your choice. I use the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. You can use Swerve. You can use Splenda, whatever you like. We need the matcha powder. Now this is the Trader Joe's. It comes in individual servings. Each little pouch is one teaspoon. You can also buy matcha powder in a tin, um, loose. So it's easier, definitely easier to measure out. Now the recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons. I'm not making this for me. I'm making it for Denise and she likes it a little more matcha-y. So I'm gonna use both of these. I'm gonna use two teaspoons, but if you're not a huge matcha fan, that might be a little too much for you. So you might want to back it off to the one and a half that the recipe calls for. But once again, that's just your preference and your taste. You will also need two bowls and you will need a whisk. Um, you could do it by hand, but you'll be there forever. You can also use a stand mixer, but when you're making a single serving and only beating two tablespoons, stand mixer is a little excessive. So I just use my little hand mixer with the whisk attachment. So that is the ingredients we need. Let's get this latte. Oh, we also need boiling water. Forgot about the boiling water. So let's get this latte started. Okay, in our bowl, we have our matcha. And to that, I'm gonna add one and a half to two teaspoons of boiling water. And I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of the monk fruit. You can adjust however you like. If you want it sweeter, All 
and we're going to stir really, really well with a whisk to make sure the matcha and the sugar are dissolved. You want it nice and smooth. I'm going to add just a tiniest little bit more water in there. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and we're going to start working on the aquafaba. I'm just going to take two tablespoons and we are going to use our whisk on high and we're going to beat it until stiff peaks form. Now, when I beat this, I'm going to shut off the camera because you don't need to listen to my mixer and I'm not great at editing. I don't know how to edit all that out. So I'll show you a start and then I'll show you when it's done. So there you go. We have whipped aquafaba, otherwise known as chickpea juice or garbanzo bean juice. So now what we're going to do, we need that back on there. We're going to add in our matcha mixture. See if I can manage to do this one handed here. So we're probably going to need to stop and scrape. So I'm going to put the mixer down on its lowest level and just start mixing this in. Want to get my scraper and get all that out. Oh, I'm making a mess. What else is new? Here we go. our sweetened matcha whip and now we're just going to assemble the latte so the first thing we need is a glass with ice because this is a cold latte and we need eight ounces or one cup of milk of choice like I said, we're going to use unsweetened cashew milk. This is one smart point on all plans for the milk. And that is the only thing that we have to count in this recipe. Then we are going to take our whip. Ooh, I should have cleaned off my spatula. And we are going to dollop it artfully on top, or not so artfully in my case. And there you have it. The whipped matcha latte. It is one smart point on all plants. And before you drink it, you definitely need to take a spoon and kind of combine it just like you would with the coffee. 
just to get the sweetness from the whip down into the cashew milk. There it is. So there you have it. Installment number two in the latte series. If you like matcha, definitely give this one a try. If you don't like matcha, I'd skip it and wait for next week. Who knows what next week is going to be. I have a few ideas floating around in my head, so stay tuned and we'll find out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like matcha and what you thought about it. And if you have any ideas for any lattes, not coffee people, any tea lattes or lattes that don't involve tea, uh, let me know and I will see what I can do for you. Have a great day. I will be back with another video soon.